Yo, what's up guys? Grady here with Grady's Gear. And today I got a little knife and gear sale going on. I have bought quite a bit of stuff here in the past couple weeks and I just need to replenish some of that money. So some stuff's gotta go and I'm just like digging through shit and I'm just purging right now. Um, if I find anything else that I wanna sell, I'll make another video and just keep adding to it. This is what I could find right now that I'm ready to get rid of, so uh, a few things um, The best way to reach me if you want to buy something is just DM me uh, Grady's underscore gear on Instagram as the best way to get a hold of me um, the other thing is Please don't ask me to like hold something for you until you get paid or something like that I've done that before for somebody and I had offers and then when it came time for the dude to pay, he told me he didn't want it no more. So I just don't want to go through that again. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of first come first serve kind of deal. So anyways, uh, and shipping, I will ship everything out this Friday, this week. It's the reason why I'm doing this video on Sunday because, uh, I want to sell everything by Friday. I'm also, I've worked the entire weekend. I just got off of work and I go to work before the post office opens and I get off work when it closes. So Friday is my next day off. So that's when I'll be shipping everything out, just in case you guys are wondering. And PayPal is the best thing for me. And cash is king. I'm not really into trading right now. I just want to get rid of some stuff. I got some good deals on some, on some things. So anyways, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to be getting rid of is the uh, Bird Blades Iron Pup. I uh, recently just did a review on this guy, and this guy was actually part of my uh, Three Knives for Life video that I did, and um, I said in that video that that could change by the week, because I'm constantly getting in new stuff, and anything could be debunked from that, and that's exactly what happened. I got another knife in that kind of fit that role for me, so this one I'm going to be letting go. Uh, still a really cool knife, though. Uh, this one is the stone wash version with the carbon fiber inlay uh 20 cv blade steel it's on bearings it's made by we knives very very smooth you can uh middle finger flick it very easily really cool knife uh, i've been digging it it's a smaller knife uh, but really robust fits good in the hand good er er uh, ergonomics and um, yeah, so these are pretty popular and I'm gonna let this go for 275. I paid over 300 for it. I feel like that's fair. And like, if you get like the, just a plain tie version without any kind of inlay, I believe those like the base models start at 280. So I'm going a little bit under what the base models are being priced at. So I feel like that's a fair deal. Uh, you also get the uh, box. And it comes with some uh, goodies as well that I haven't opened. So you have the bag still. You get the cards. It's got a sticker in here, a really cool dude with tattoos. Uh, and you get that sticker and you get the really cool microfiber cloth as well. It's really cool. So all that comes with it. $275 for this one. And I think that's gonna be a really good deal. So yeah, Berg Blades Iron Pop. Very, very cool. Uh, like I said, titanium, carbon fiber inlay, 20 CV steel, bearings, thumb stud deployment, smooth action, just a really cool knife, guys. So 275 for this one. Next up, I got a pocket tool here. This is from Coke Tools. I just got this a few weeks ago. Very, very cool. I did an unboxing video on this thing. But at around the same time I got this, I got another pry bar from Kevin Lefty EDC. He sent me one for a early birthday present. And I just gravitate towards that one a little bit more. And I don't need a whole bunch of different pocket tools. So this one is the fat carbon. It's got the fat carbon scale on there with the blasted titanium. You can see that carbon fiber just looks beautiful. Uh, it fits really good in the hand. It's a really good pry bar. Um, it's got a really cool, unique looking pocket clip on it. It's got a big loop right here if you want to put a lanyard on it. Very, very cool. Uh, yeah, it's just really cool. There really wasn't no packaging to it. It just came with a card and a plastic bag. 
Uh, but yeah, very, very cool. These are a hundred bucks and Coke tools, from what I understand, they never make the same model twice. And I got this a few weeks ago. They've come, that one sold out, this particular version sold out. Then they came out with another one and that one sold out. So they're, you know, they sell quickly guys. So I paid a hundred bucks for this. I'm going to let it go for $80. I've only had it a few weeks. I've carried it once. So I think that's a fair deal. 80 bucks. So yeah, this is the Coke tools, uh, cursor pry bar. So there's that. Uh, okay, let's go to something different. I have an Olight here. This is a limited edition. This is the Warrior Mini in titanium. Uh, I got this when these first came out around Christmas time last year. Still in the box. Uh, really, really cool little light here. You know, and it's got the... I think I got it in lockout mode. Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's got the button on the back. So you can like half press it and then when you fully press it, and then it goes to turbo uh, and it's, you can change the modes here. Just a really cool light from Olight. This is the Winter 2. I've had the Winter and the Winter 2 and I already sold my Winter. So this is really cool. Uh, I actually got this on the sale that they were running and I think I paid like 89 bucks for it. Uh, retailers, if they still have some of these, I think they're going for like 120 or 130. I'm gonna sell this for 70 bucks, guys. Um, I think that's more than fair. Uh, 70 bucks, limited edition, titanium. Uh, really cool light, it's just a little big for me for what I carry. I carry like the i3T in titanium and the um, uh, i5T in titanium. So I really don't have a use for this in my collection. So 70 bucks. It comes with a box. I haven't even used the charger or anything like that. So, aside from the cellophane that this came wrapped in, this is essentially brand new. So, 70 bucks for the Olight. Uh, some other stuff. Another knife. Spyderco Para 3 Lightweight. I've had this for years. Got it when they first came out. I mainly use this for size comparisons now in my videos. Uh, and it just sits in the knife case, guys. It's just money sitting in the knife case. Uh, when I first got it, of course, I carried it and used it and stuff like that. But it's literally been sitting in my knife case for like two or three years. I just have other knives now uh, that I gravitate towards more. And, um, you know, it's just sitting there. I have a bug out still. I might get rid of that. I don't know. Um, and, I, and that one's the Blade HQ exclusive. That was the all blacked out version before they came out with the uh, CF Elite. But this is just a standard, you know, uh, pair three with the BD1 steel. Um, it's great, but you know, the centering on this thing is like fucking awful. Um, I'm sure you can tune that and make it just fine. Uh, action on it's great, but it's just sitting. So I don't even know if I have the box for this. I think I've had this since like 2016. So, but I will do this for 60 bucks. You can buy them brand new for like a hundred dollars, I think, on Amazon. So I think sixty bucks. You know, you're getting forty bucks off. Um, if you want the box, I can look and see if I can find it. But um, if that doesn't matter to you, I'll just bubble wrap it and make sure it's protected. But yeah, sixty bucks uh, for a good solid EDC. Yeah, can't go wrong with a pair of three. So sixty bucks gets this guy. So that's that. Another knife. This one, uh, I may have the box for. I gotta look around and see if I can find it. This was the first knife I ever bought that was over $100. I bought it years ago. Uh, this is the Zero Tolerance 0566 CF. It's a hinderer design. Uh, this one has been through it with me. Uh, and actually the centering doesn't look bad on this one. Uh, I have de-assisted it because this did come assisted. Uh, it's not a drop shutter or anything or by any stretch of imagination, but I imagine if you drop some KPL in there um, that you could probably get that action better. But I de-assisted this knife. I threw an MXG gear, titanium deep carry pocket clip. Do not know where the original pocket clip is, but in my opinion, this is better than the other one. Um, yeah, and I bought this years ago. It was my first knife that was over a hundred bucks it's been with me forever but 
I probably haven't carried this knife in like four years. It's just been sitting in my knife case. So I, I really kept it for just sentimental reasons, but I'm at a stage now where I'm like, it's just money sitting there. So I'm going to let this go. I bought it when I first bought this. These are discontinued. You can't get them anymore. When I first bought it, it was like $164, I think, when I got it. I'm going to sell this guy for 80 bucks, Half off. I think that's a good deal, even though you're not getting the torsion bar in here. Sorry about that. I think my, uh, my camera just turned off. That was weird. But, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, 80 bucks to your door gets this. I think that's a good deal. Under $100. S35 VM blade steel on this guy. This is not titanium. This is stainless steel. So it is kind of chunky, but Hinder design discontinued. It's a ZT. It's a beefy, beefy guy. It can handle it. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be 80 bucks to your door. All right. Last but not least, I got a Leatherman Skeletool right here. I have three of these. I have two of the regular versions and I got the CX model. The Skeletool is one of my favorite multi-tools because it has everything that I like that I use the most. The knife. And then it's got the pliers. And then it's got the screwdriver. And the cool thing about this is it has extra bits right here. So you can swap these out. And if you got a Leatherman bit kit, you're pretty much good to go. Um, I got, like I said, I got three of these. I don't need three of them. So you can buy these, I think, for like 65 bucks on Amazon, something like that. I'm going to sell mine for $40. And I'm also going to include this uh, Boker. I have no idea what this is. <clears throat> I bought this when I first got into the EDC game. And that was years ago. And I was really into fixed blades back then. And this thing is like a pry bar. It's got the serrated blade, seat belt cutter, window breaker on here. Um, this edge is sharp right here. You kind of put your thumb in there to really get some leverage. And yeah, I have no idea what it's called, but I think when I bought it, yeah, 440C stainless steel. So nothing fancy, but I think when I got this, it was like, 50 bucks or something like that it comes with a leather sheep with a little uh, belt clip So I'm gonna throw that in for free. So if you pay the 40 bucks for the skeletal, I will throw this in for free So but yeah guys, that's gonna do it for this one. That's all the stuff I got for sale right now I'm gonna keep going through all my stuff and I'm just trying to downsize right now and just get rid of everything That's why I'm making good deals on stuff so if you guys want anything, DM me on Instagram. Let me know if you want. PayPal is the best way for me. Like I said, cash is king. I'm not really looking for trades right now. But yeah, so that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you guys in the next one.